but I'm going to start. I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, <clears throat> so yesterday, so this is from yesterday. I was um, talking to the Lord about a lot of the things that are still undone. And um, so also not just the things that have undone, but just processing with him this last season has been one of such great loss and heartache. And so I was just, you know, crying out to him and receiving his comfort and he, he was loving on me and it was just, it was just a tender moment, um, <clears throat> just acknowledging the loss, the great loss. Um, th there's so many different levels. And um, so it was a sweet time with the Lord and I just, you know, just kind of wrote all that out and I just kind of sighed and I looked down at my phone. I always have YouTube open because I'm listening to worship and I, there was a song coming up next that I've never heard before and it said, keep praying. And it just popped off my phone to me. I'm like, keep praying. You know, like here I'm crying and I'm lamenting and, and I hear, keep praying. <clears throat> and so, like I said, I've never heard the song. It's never been in my feed before. Um, and so, <clears throat> so I was reading the lyrics and some other things and talking to the Lord. And so um, part of the lyrics were, every prayer is a seed for tomorrow. Keep praying. Keep praying. Hold on to faith and blessing will follow. And um, I thought that was so good. It's a seed for tomorrow. Um, I, the other verse that keeps coming to my mind is don't grow weary in well-doing. For in due season, you will reap. <clears throat> I just think as women, as mamas, praying for our children, for our marriages, for all the things. Like when it's going on so long, the enemy wants to, to, to weary us, to make us so weary. And the Lord is saying, don't grow weary. I just feel like he's whispering um, encouragement and hope into my heart. Don't grow weary, weary mama. Don't grow weary. Um, <clears throat> you know, and I was, I was thinking like, what else can I do? Right? Like it's, when things aren't happening and you're praying for so long and you're getting weary, like, what else can I do? Like, um, I know I can't stop, right? I can't quit. My heart won't let me quit praying. The Holy Spirit sure won't let me quit praying. Um, it's like, you know, we know too much. We know what his word says. He, it says that he hears and he answers. He hears and he answers. I cried out to the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me. You can, from Genesis to Revelation, you cannot get away from it. We don't understand um, the how, the when, the what, all the things. But the very basic truth is that God hears our prayers and he answers those prayers. So fall back to that, right? So all the things just take a breath and fall right back to he hears and he answers. Um, and you know, we get to decide, right? Like here's where the rubber meets the road. We get to decide, do I believe that God hears my prayers and do I believe that he answers them? <clears throat> we get to decide, believe it or not. Um, you know, this, I think of the scripture too has been in my face so much ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and it will be open to you. Like, does it get any clearer than that? Like, why do we doubt? Um, and, and I can begin to question, did I hear him right? Are those promises really for me? Am I taking something out of context? You know, is he really going to do X, Y, Z? What if he doesn't? You know, all those questions. But there's one thing that we can go back to. It's super clear in the word is that he hears us and he answers us. You know, so I just felt like he was saying to, to you and to me, dear mama, don't stop praying. Keep praying to the wives out there who are crying out to God for their marriage and for their husbands. Don't stop praying. Keep praying. You know, our faith might be weak. Doubt is continually screaming. Like, I don't know if he screams at you, but he screams at me all the time. Doubt screams louder sometimes each passing day. Um, but let it rage. Let's just go back to the basics. He hears us and he answers. Keep praying. I found when I was looking up some things, um, an article had said that prayer is mentioned 367 times in the Bible. And that does not include all the verses that talk about asking. Okay. That was just prayer. <clears throat> and a quote I read said, the power of prayer is in the one who hears it, not in the one who says it. And I think we question, you know, our, am I praying right? Am I doing enough? Am I doing it right, good enough, all the things. And, um, but the power is not in our prayer. It's in the one who hears it. Um, and so I'm going to read just a few scripture, not 367 of them today, but I just want to read a few scripture, 
um, to renew our minds, to encourage our hearts, to strengthen our hearts in the Lord, um, that he hears us and he answers us. Okay. We don't know the how, the why, the when, the what. Okay. But we know we can go peel it back down to, we know that he hears us and he answers us. <clears throat> First John 5, 14 and 15. And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us and whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that we have asked of him. Like, why don't we just base our faith on that one alone? That's huge. Um, John 15, 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Okay, so that's why we need to be in the word and have his word in us. <clears throat> Isaiah 65, 24. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. Okay, this is our father. This is our heavenly father. He hears us before we even cry out to him. Um, I feel like sometimes I forget that I have a good father. He has good intentions towards me. He loves me. He's not mad at me. And he has good things for my life. Okay. Um, <clears throat> John 15, 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give it to you. First Thessalonians. Pray without ceasing or keep praying. Um, let's see. Psalm 37. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to him, to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. <clears throat> um, Matthew 21. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Micah 7. But as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation for my God will hear me. Okay, maybe you need to say that today. My God will hear me. Like when the enemy is roaring at you and doubt is raging, my God will hear me. My God hears me. My God answers me. Okay, answer the enemy with that. <clears throat> Psalm 50, and call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Um, the one I just talked about, Matthew 7, 7 through 8. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receive. And to, to the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be opened. Um, Hebrews four sixteen. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace in the, in, and help in the time of need. John 14, if you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. I have nine pages of scriptures. If you want to renew your mind on this, just Google um, Bible verses about God answering prayer and renew your mind and um, fan that flame of hope. Maybe it's flickering right now <clears throat> and you're wondering, does he even hear me? Is he answering? The answer is yes, he is. So I'm going to go ahead and pray for us, um, for God to strengthen our hearts increase our faith. And obviously, yes, there are all kinds of different verses about, um, if you believe, or if you, that, if it's my will, I'm not trying to say that every single thing we ask for, we're going to get it exactly how we ask. I'm not saying that. And I think you know that, but I just want to remind us that he hears us and he answers us. Okay. So let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly father, we thank you that you are such a good father, Lord. And that you have good gifts. They're not always the gifts that we think are good, Lord, but you have good gifts. Your timing is perfect. You are a good father. And Lord, I just pray for each one listening that you would remind them, whisper to their hearts that you hear them and that you are answering them. And you renew the strength of those who wait on you. And those who wait on you will not be ashamed. Lord, we surrender. We surrender anew our idea of the timing of what it's supposed to look like. We lay our lives down and we say, we trust you, God. We trust you with all of our heart and we lean not on our own understanding, Lord. We acknowledge you and you will lead us, God. We look to you to lead. You are faithful, you are good, and you are true to your word, Lord. I pray for each one listening, Lord, that they would have an amazing weekend. Um, that they would encounter your love in a fresh way this weekend. They would see you everywhere. They would hear your voice in everything, Lord. Just encourage the, the mamas and the wives, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, ladies, have a um, fantastic weekend, and Lord willing, I will see you on Monday.